Hi, I'm Casey and this is Nadia. Welcome to our channel. Um, today's Mask Monday and I have picked out this Hey Honey Sweet Treat Wild Berry Honey Yogurt Recovery Mask. And I picked out this Cosmic Holographic Peel Off Mask. Mine says it's a pink natural restorative treatment mask infused with antioxidant rich ingredients designed to restore skin elasticity and help soften the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles while enhancing barrier properties. Vitamin E protects against environmental damage. And I got it from Ipsy as one of like their little $3 add-on things. Mine says that it's going to boost my aura um, and balance my skin. So pretty excited. I think we'll put them on and come back. We're back and masked up. How do you feel? Sticky. It's a peel off though. So they want to do that. But it's a little weird. There's a vent right there if my face is chilly really? wow. can you feel it you're blowing on your face oh. on saturday there was two thrift shops that nadia had been thinking would be fun to go to and we had never been so we did that yeah i mean we're going to show you what we bought do you want to start or you want me to start you start okay you got a lot not really but i did get this pampered chef chopper like it'll chop up onions and just go doo -doo -doo. Um, she's been looking for one of those too and yeah, it was two ninety nine, and while it might be kind of gross to use a used one that I found at a Salvation Army, I figure that after I you know wash it and soak it and then roll it through the dishwasher, it'll be fine. So there's that. Um, then I found these three hair products that were Monet brand, and they felt like full. <laughs> um, and again. Y'all might think it's gross. I thought it was a great deal because they were all $1.99 and I knew that they, you know, it's an expensive product line because I use this and um, I hadn't tried these three products from them, but I use other products from them and always liked them. And like the price on this was a $99 like rejuvenate oil. And so for $1.99, I thought that was great. Um, the blowout cream, I think was about a $29 product. And the um, replenishing deep conditioning mask is like about a $45 to $50 product. So they were all $1.99 each, and I am happy with them. Then I bought this shirt, sweater thing. It's, is it in the thing? Yeah. It's oversized, and it has a fun little, like, I feel like the French scene with cafes and women. And it looks fall but I'm okay with it and it was $3.99 and I did look all from the same store up the brand I no, couldn't remember same. yeah I couldn't remember which things That's I got okay. anywhere we went to the Goodwill and the Salvation Army if you were wondering um and this is just like a Zulily brand which I haven't ordered from so I mean it's only like a you know $25 shirt or something but I still I think it's cute for four dollars and I bought this shirt because to me it looked like it hadn't really even been worn. Put it down a little thing so you can. It hadn't really even been worn, and it's soft. Um, they it either didn't have a tag or they've taken the tag out because this is, like, I mean that's all the bigger that tag is. That's not like where they cut it out. It doesn't say anything. Um, but it's fine. And How boring. much was it? Do you know? I think it was a dollar ninety nine. And the last thing I got is this scarf. And I also looked it up. They have it on like Poshmark and Mercari and those kind of things used for like $27, um, $40, $18, $34. Um, or it was new on like Amazon, I felt like for $54. So I don't know what the brand is, but it seemed like a decent one. And I like that it's great big and I felt like I could use it as a wrap um, and not just, you know, a scarf. But I could use it either way. Those are my. I didn't get near as many things. I got this leopard shiny button down from the Salvation Army. So it was like $2.99. Um, which I know you're probably thinking is ugly. But I think that I will make it work. So. I don't think they're thinking it's ugly. I wouldn't wear it, but I think she'll look really cute in it. Yeah. I'm thinking um, either over a cute little dress outfit or or buttoned up with like a a necklace and some jeans or something i think i can make it cool um and then i just got this 
Penn State um, t-shirt that I'm probably gonna chop the bottom half off of because that's how she rolls. <laughs> Why not? Um, this belly button ring was expensive. Everybody needs to see it. So I got this shirt. Guys, I go to K-State in Manhattan, Kansas, and I love my school, okay? I saw this shirt that says Dumbass University, Manhattan, Kansas. It's like an extra large, like I'm gonna like sleep in it. Um, like I get that it's making fun of my school, but like it, I feel like it's stupid all around. Who's gonna wear a shirt that says Dumbass University, Manhattan, Kansas that doesn't, that goes to KU in Lawrence, you know? Like you look stupid wearing that. You don't even go there. Like, and I obviously would look stupid because I actually go there. <laughs> And I get that it's making fun of me, but it was it's it a dollar ninety nine t-shirt, but it's also kind of funny, is what she's trying to say. Yeah, yeah, it was dollar ninety nine. I'm gonna sleep in it, and it makes me laugh. So, yeah, I agree with that. Don't tell anybody. I love my school. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> then the last thing I have to show you is um, before we went, I stopped and got mail. So I friend mail from Jean Louise, and it came a cute little mailer with a Valentine card. In the Valentine card are all these cute little felt little... Are these patches? Um, no, but I, what, I didn't check. I think there might be stickers. Yeah, they're sticky. Oh, that's Like cute. I could put them on something. On so my those pants. <laughs> I want to have some little, little heart sweatpants. That would be cute. So, um, yes, a Valentine Day card for Jean Louise, who um, has a channel that I will link, and she also does unboxing videos and... Fun things like that. Little it's starting to peel. Challenges. Ooh, good. And then she also sent a little note that said that um, she had sent seeds to most of the ladies um, for Valentine's Day. But since she knows that we're in a rental, she wasn't sure if I would be able to plant them. So she sent me a face mask that she likes, um, that she hopes I like instead. So it's this Tetra Force wash off face mask. It's a clay mask with Tetra Force, ingredients that calm irritated skin and smooths it out. So Nadia and I will both be trying this out. Look at you peeling already. Um, it started to bother me. So then I broke it and I stuck it to my cheek. <laughs> well, that works. Um, anyway, this is very nice. Thank you, Jean-Louise. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'm so excited to use it. <laughs> Guys, I'm starting um, to care for my skin, which if you, you obviously know my mom. Um, so it's ridiculous that I wasn't before, but... You're going to watch me break out really bad and then clear up and look beautiful. Well, I just told her that, you know, sometimes if you haven't been doing anything and then you start taking care of it, you can go through a purge. It doesn't mean that your um, new products are breaking you out. It is um, that sometimes impurities that are deeper in your skin because you're now like using all these new products, it brings them to the surface quicker and they kind of all come at once. So it looks like a breakout. It's not a breakout. It's a purge and there's a difference and that she shouldn't be surprised like if that happens and not to stop doing it just because of that. Like you gotta power through, man. Yep. I'm excited. Mm -hmm. I like some thoughts are not ready yet though. I know, but I have no self-control. <laughs> okay. Do I look good guys? Look at my chin's glowing, and it looks like it's kind of crusty because there's a little mask on it. <sighs> Let me see. Dang it! Mm. Mm. She got those masks for her birthday. She yeah. got like 12 single ones, so she'll be able to do Mask Mondays with me for a while. Forcing her. <laughs> I was doing it before. And I'm now, I'm taking care of my skin, so I want to. How's your school going? Fine. Do you like your classes, most of them? Yeah. <laughs> Do you remember? Good like, talk. Get that? Yeah, I like my classes. I mean, sorry. This it looks ridiculous, but I'm just making it worse. Um. I like, I like my classes. I like what I'm learning about. It's a lot of work. It's not necessarily fun to have to sit down and read my textbooks every day, but like, at least it's on math, you know? Sorry if you like math. It's not me. Good. I just wanted to ask you about your life. And... <laughs> you want to talk about your life? How's your YouTube thing going? Um, my YouTube thing gives me something to do, which I think is really good because otherwise, what would I be doing? Probably like, the literally? same. Well, I mean, we're just hanging out on your YouTube channel now. Like, it's just us hanging out. I know, but, like, 
then uh, like it takes me an equal amount of time to edit it as it takes me to shoot you know video at, setup. at least <laughs> yeah otherwise um yeah i wouldn't really have anything to do and then you know i like talking to the you people in the comments mostly um that part is fun although i do think like when the weather is nicer and we can leave our houses more i think that i would probably really enjoy finding like an animal shelter or something to volunteer in again and spend a little less time staring at my phone, even on YouTube. Your phone. I just think it would be good for me. I think so too. And I really enjoyed it when I did that. If I hadn't been working for such a horrible oh, veterinarian. That, that can be a story time one day, if anything. You know, it's so outlandish. I almost am afraid that it would come across. Like you were lying. Yeah. Like there are parts lying. that are like. That nobody. No would, way. Yeah, would believe. And the thing is that if like, I had experienced it, I, I, I think that. I wouldn't believe somebody telling the stories. Um, although, what's the craziest part? <clears throat> I think the craziest part is what she got arrested for. Um, is that not what you were thinking? No, I guess I mean the crazy, the parts that don't seem real is how other people told me that he was like that, and I didn't maybe believe them because I'd met him and he could come across as a sane and normal person at at times, and that like he really would just. Snap because I normally think that I am a pretty good judge of character and can read people. And it really just proved to me that, you no, know, some people are just really good at hiding their mean streak. Um, and he's probably the worst person I've ever met in my life. Um, he is somebody that I haven't really been able to forgive him for his actions. And normally in life in general, my thing is just, you know, absolutely forgive people because it harbors more, you know, hatred in you than it ever hurts them. Um, but I think it was because he didn't do anything to me. It was what he did to animals and to other, you know, people that bothers me. And I don't think that, like, I just, I do think a little bit of if I were to forgive him, it might make me forget. And I don't want to forget what a horrible, like, I need to keep those um, things that I learned from that experience. And if I forgave him for that, I might start forgetting the bad, bad man. And Cut that part out. Okay. Because you're spoiling the thing. <clears throat> well, I don't know that I'll ever tell the story. Well, then don't tell the story. Don't tell the, the part. The part. Now they know what you're talking about. Okay. Ready. All right. Shall we go remove our mask? Oh, we weren't doing that already. Well, I got to wash mine off. Um, Actually, yeah, I'll go wash mine off and you can try to get a good peel going. Because sometimes if you've got a good peel, people like to see you peel it off. I guess it's hard. And, okay. and you're supposed to tell them if it's hurting or not hurting. Um, go wash yours off. Leave me alone with them. Okay, guys. Um, it was hurting, but I think that's because I have a hairy face. Okay, it's not on the inside of the hurting on my forehead. Ow, this part is. This part is. Doesn't taste bad, but I don't recommend eating. That hurts. <laughs> There's still some some parts that I didn't get off, but you probably could have done better if you looked in the mirror. Thank you so much for joining us for this um, Mask Monday. I am going Hold to on, tell them how your mask felt. follow up with my skincare now, and um, it feels clean and soft and um, hydrated. Um, I don't. I didn't think it looked necessarily better. <laughs> like I don't see like a special glow or less anything I don't think it looked better but it does it feels nice it doesn't feel dry or tight or anything so yeah that's good and um, I feel like I've just got like a fresh face wax <laughs> Nadia said um the other day that maybe in a video I should do like my skincare regime and I told her that I was afraid that everyone would make fun of me because of how many serums I actually use and that that would be Something you actually would not be interested in, but I guess, you know, if you ever did and think you can do it without making fun of me for using, like, this many products a day, you can let me know. And um, thank you again, Jean Louise, for my Valentine card. It was very, very sweet. Anything else? Thanks. Thanks. Oh, yeah. You know how I like to insert a PS sometimes? Hey, Nadia. 
You know what I saw and forgot to tell you about at one of the thrift shops? What? It was the robe that came in the cause box that everybody complained about because if you washed them wrong, they would shrink up to like half their size. Was it teeny tiny? And no, but it looked really raggedy. I think I took a picture and if I did, I'll insert it. And it was supposed to be like this hundred dollar, you know, bath robe. And I picked the towels and honestly, I put them in our camper because I've been afraid to like use them often. So I thought they could be our travel towels or whatever. Um, anyway, I thought that was funny. Uh, yep. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's only been like three months. Do you remember um, how much it was? Yeah, they claimed it was like $100. No, I mean... Oh, I, I'm going to say it was $3. <laughs> um, and it really, it looked raggy enough, you know, hanging there that I don't know who would have actually bought it if they didn't know, oh yeah, that was supposed to be that $100 robe from Bathin from the Cause Box. Um, because some of this stuff actually kind of looked new. This looked like it had been around for like 40 years. Anyway, that's all. Thanks. <laughs>